Hey guys, welcome back to my page. So this year I'm going to be appearing in the USA for a year and I've decided to include a section of videos of my experience while I'm here onto my page. And basically this video is just like an introduction of why I did it, how I did it, uh, what made me make the decision and my experience so far. Um, and it's basically just a continuation, basically just a continuation from my video before about perseverance and going after what you want. So, yeah. Okay, so from the beginning, um, for those of you who don't know what an au pair is, um, I'll probably need to post up the Google meaning to give you the exact meaning because it's a bit complicated. But in my understanding, it's an exchange program where someone would travel to another foreign country not necessarily America and be a part of a family while doing childcare and looking after their children um, and then getting a stipend each week. With that comes learning new experience while well, going through new experiences, learning different cultures, um, traveling and everything else that comes with it, good and bad. Um, and so I decided to do this a couple of years ago. I did it with the agency called Cultural Care. And I basically knew I wanted to be an au pair in my last year of high school. Um, but it wasn't so popular in South Africa back then. So people were a bit like, is it a scam? Is it human trafficking? You know, is this legit? Um, so I gave it some time. And then finally in 2016, so I was busy with my application because um, you have to do an application. And then um, I did my application and was done around early 2016 and then you start to meet families um, so you can see like which family you're gonna go stay with um, I found a family and then you have to get your visa done and your passport done I did all of that um, booked my flights I was scheduled to leave on the 9th of October which is a day I'll never forget uh, supposed to come to Virginia and then Three weeks before my departure, I got into hospital. So for the first few weeks, um, I had a lot of my South African friends and family asking me questions like, how's America? How's the air? How, how's the food? How are the guys? Are the guys like, are they, like, are they really hot cops? And that was like the second day I was here. And I was like, guys, I don't know how America is. I'm in one city because um, I arrived in New York City so and I had training there for about a week. So for those five days, I was in the training school most of the time. I only went to New York City on the Thursday night and that was for a couple of hours. I don't know how the food is. I haven't tasted, you know, all the foods. I can't give you that general statement. The air, it's quite cold because I arrived in winter. So it's a very cold. That's all I know. Um, but basically, um, what I'm trying to point out is that people, um, I know that us as South Africans see America as this amazing, glamorous place, like everyone wants to go to America. And that is true, like I was very excited. But then you get here and what people back at home don't realize is that you left your whole life, you dropped everything. You left your family, your friends, your job, your belongings, everything the only thing you have here is yourself and the clothes on your back nothing else you are living with strange well practically they're strangers you live yeah strangers in a new different place with new people Dif like the 11 languages are gone it's not just english you know you don't know anybody so it's, it's very different and people don't understand that and how much pressure it is on you and how just overwhelming it can be so um for people back at home i would just say be mindful of that and um for au pairs that are still coming be mindful of that too and be ready because it is a big change um but yeah that's all i have to say for the first few weeks